Hey yo, what up? Welcome to Black Savage Entertainment. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and turn your notification bell on, and make sure you put your comments below. Yo, in this one, we got WAC 100 reacting to the tragic news of Yo Gotti's brother, Big Jug, being murdered in Memphis after attending a funeral. Now, there's been a lot of speculation that this has something to do with the ongoing beef in Memphis between Yo Gotti's PRE crew and Yo Gotti's CMG crew. Now, there's a lot of speculation that ever since Dolph was murdered, there's been like an all out beef in Memphis, bodies dropping left and right. Murder rate in Memphis is among the highest in the country. Wack 100 speaks on that and he gives Yo Gotti some words of advice. So I'm gonna play the content, man, and we are gonna get back to it. All right, so the first clip I got, it's saying young Dolph's brother Grove Hero says, Big Juke put a hit on Dolph. I couldn't hear that, bro. And I put tears in my eyes, bro. When I heard that, that, that little boy Trey Trey say, man, I miss my dad, mom. When I heard that, that f***ed me up, bro. That sh me up. And keep in mind, I said, if I see Juke, if I see Gotti, if I see, if I see, uh, if I see Migo, if I see Youngstar, I'm going to get on this ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said if I see them folk, because these folk got some had something to do with it, bro. These folk don't know that Juke put a hit out, bro. Don't know this, you know what I'm saying? But nah, fuck all that, bro. I need to say that. I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell the truth, bro. I ain't, I ain't say, man. Hey, bro, how you gonna feel if a nigga told you, hey, man, look, bro, my Juke put a forty thousand dollar hit on you, bro. Like, you, you, man, come on, bro. I couldn't hear that, bro. Damn, yeah, I want you to play that because I thought that was you crazy. Know, this was crazy though with that, right? Yep. This was up. I a telling them shit like that it won't even be real. Yep. I didn't have to call me. I had a call me before about eight years ago, right? <clears throat> he said, what? What I said, bro, I need to holler at you. I said, okay, shit, cool. He said, meet me at the spot. You know, we go always eat that. All right, cool. Pulled up to the spot. Came in there, like, all the food, we eating, you know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> he waited the whole hour, two hours. We get back outside, he looking around. He said, Whack, you by yourself? I said, I always come, come see you by myself. You know that, what the fuck you talking about? Why would I be with somebody? He like, man, you know, a nigga told me, you put a hundred dollars on my, a hundred thousand dollars on my head. I called you today to see if you was going to change up any of your normal behavior with me. Come to find out that I told him that was told by another that was mad because my man was in his way. So the that told him wasn't even the one hating on me. He thought he was really doing do the favor. How you know, unless the that he gave the bag to come tell you that, how you know that he put that out there? Cause a n told you. <laughs> oh, that's right, he, how you know? And the crazy part is, you hear his homeboy in the back say, "Hey man, you don't need to be saying it. no, no. It need to be said." <laughs> how, how do you know if you're putting some money in your head? Nobody knows if you gave the money to, and you still alive. Let's just do the math. You're still alive. But he put, like, how you know? How, how you know it? Did the that did it said it? Just, man, the ghetto's a mother. When that ghetto was, that ghetto was evil, bro. Deceiving. Say shit, And just, that's what it is. How they know? First it was black youngster, then it was this dude, then it was that dude, it was this dude. How they know? Crazy part is they ain't even trying to figure it out. They just assuming that's what it is and going and killing something on the other side. That's it. That's how that shit goes. Mm -hmm. This is why I put the post up that I put up to Gotti. 
Got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. In a few months, I think Memphis has been leading the United States in killing. This ain't going to do nothing but make it turn up even more. Uh -huh. But, you know, he, 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 I mean, you know, people like Gotti, but people used to love Big Juke, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to be careful, though, man. The bodies keep dropping. You know how yeah, First of all, the fans been in that backyard playing for a minute. That's what I'm saying. And every, every last one of them circles got a that been circling. Yup, that's him. Yup, that's him. Yup, that's him. And then sit back. The feds just sit back and they'll let it all happen. And then come pick up the pieces. So he got that threat and he got the threat of the streets. He got both of them. Hell uh, yeah, these bodies keep dropping. What you think will happen? Hey, Eric, you got that video to tell him how it all started? My bad. Um, I'm I'm looking for that one. Hold on. Like I said, I can't open it. It was at LVE funeral. Nah, we going back further than that. Whoever that was. I thought that was audio. That was Blicky. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, whose funeral was it at? That was LVE funeral. It, it, it was his, mom, his uncle. Remember his mom and aunt had that case back in the day, that Fed case? That's the dude, what's his name? Was, I'm dealing with uh, 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 Auntie Love. Basically, he was a man a long time ago. He pretty much taught them together. Oh, so they knew that this, everybody was going to show up for this funeral. This was. Yeah, right. yeah, they knew it. Remember they, so, I so I don't have, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have the actual facts. I don't have the actual facts. I just, I'm just going off of hearsay, so don't quote me. But so they went to the funeral, chilled there for a minute, left, and sat on their ass and just waited. Well, my question is, where your security at? They say it was a gun battle, so somebody shot back. But was that that was that had to be homeboy security? Nah, they was dead. They was dead. All, like the dudes that was with Juke, they got shot too. They just ain't get life threatening. Well, it is in the hospital, damn near dead. Oh, I hope he pulled through, but he was pretty fed up. And them, I thought they were like the only two that you know what I'm saying was right. It was pretty crazy, man. That he couldn't even attend his homie's funeral without being murdered man and uh there was some other news that his mom was in a call moments before it happened um good thing she got out but it was still tragic that big jug lost his life um now they about to play some audio um from some people that were on the scene um of the crime so i'm gonna let y'all listen to that but allegedly it's too many people saying it was big jug i shot i'm not saying he died or nothing right now I know, man, it's too many people saying it was him. Only on Blackwood News. We out here. It's Savage Saturday. Come on, man. Y'all know what today is. Hey, I sure don't see him over the land. I can't lay it down over there. Huh? This live audio from the scene, by the way. Big Juke did. Hey, for real? Big Juke. Whoa. Yeah, I see him over there. It's a re what is a birthday? What is a repass or a, a birthday party? Oh, it both ain't repaid. That's what they said. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, it's been clear a lot now. All right, bro. If you do not disperse, you may be arrested. It's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get ugly, y'all.
They killed Gotti, brother. Yeah, they killed Juke. Mine. Did Winchester? What did Winchester? What? Winchester. Man, the city finna get ugly, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, this East Memphis, Winchester. Winchester Reed's way, yo. Yeah, they with them, man. I wish I can go up there. <laughs> Can you hear me? Nah, no, that's all. It, that that's all. Basically, it was. He so in that video, if you ain't see it, he brought him out a long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Yo Gotti did, and um, you know he brought Dolph on stage, let him do his thing. And then when he tried to sign him, rather than just keeping it real with him and try to sign him, he basically downed his day, well, I ain't going to say his day one homeboys, but the guys that was already signed to him, down them to big up Dolph, trying to get Dolph to come with him. And Dolph like, my first time really meeting you, and this is how you coming at me? What you will say about me if I fall off my game is pretty much what he thinking. You know what I'm saying? So he just pretty much was like, my f with you. And that, that started the beef, whether he mad at sign with him or you know bad at the approach it took or however it is that's how the whole beef started which is crazy that seemed like I don't know that seemed man <laughs> that seemed petty as hell though. yeah that seemed like a petty ass way to be beefing with somebody I don't know but it's a full, on, talking about business. I say it's a full, it's a full blown beef now, nigga. You, as you know, famous people done died. You know what I'm saying, and all the way down to you know, whatever. A lot of people have lost their lives behind this beef that started over, you know, whether somebody was gonna sign with somebody or you know whatever it started over. It could have been a little deeper than that. But as far as we know, when he spoke about it, you know, talking about somebody behind their back, and Dolph didn't like it. I mean, whose side are you on? If that's the true story, whose side are you on? But see, like, having ever heard of is, is business, not personal, right? Like, if somebody, you know, makes a business decision that doesn't go in your favor, you shouldn't be taking that personal to the point where you, now you want to take it to the streets and, and now it's all this shit going on and this whole right, body's but, dropping. But go ahead, did you please. see the video? You seen the video that back in, like, the beginning of the dog red, like, a lot of the PRE fans gonna know he had that video with the fake Gotti in it, right? Before, before, like, it's like, it's like, I know Dolph not here, everybody, like, that's his fan, R.P. Dolph, and they all on the P.R.E. vibe and all that, but for the, the, the casual fan that not from Memphis, don't know no CMG or P.R.E., right? You saw, um, Dolph, like, when he was coming out, kind of like trolling Gotti, bro. Like, he came out saying he ain't want to go over there, like y'all had said. Then he put the fake-looking Gotti in the video. Then he said the dude be fake like Lowe's Key on, 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 on his artist under the bus. I ain't gonna, that's, that's giving me red flag type vibes on the interview I just played, right? I ain't no content or really out there, nothing saying that um with Gotti personally saying we all know all that behind the scenes, different sides of the tracks with brothers dying and all that, but I'm talking about this casual fan and no they just look like when Dolph his claim to fame not no, like she was hot like he came out he had a vibe but his claim to fame really been trying to send shots at the um who was a top dog at the time out of Memphis um, 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 Dolph. hey you see that link up top Blicky hey is that actual video or the film? it look like it you know what I'm saying it look like it's actual video of the movie, funeral yeah, they got that out there. You can see, you can see where him and Gotti went up like towards the casket, but I ain't see like no full clips of it. But you can see inside of there. But E, did you? Uh, I dropped something in the morning chat, John. That got something to do with this. I think you should look at it. Mm -hmm. I want to do your own homework. You know what I'm saying? Listening, listening to shit. 
Oh, go find some early dog shit. Where vocally, as a casual fan, you hear um, God, you saying something about dog, or you can post it on Twitter. Hey, Blicky, was uh, Gotti trying to sign Dolph around the time when he had... Uh, nah, but that's Uber. how it was. That's why Poochiesty said the same thing. Poochiesty tried to make claim and lay his thing down. Like, he the only artist that came out the city that ain't need no PRE or CMG co-sign. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, so right, right. like, yo. So he like, he, he, he the one that's saying fuck. He don't give a fuck about that beef or nothing. They standing on their own shit, right? And they doing their own thing. Cause he's like, for years, that's how I've been. Cause triple six and all of other niggas down there wasn't putting nobody in. So they's like, yo. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But, but, but Dolph, Dolph was moving himself. You know what I'm saying? And got it kept bringing Dolph around. Cause you know what Dottie was, got it was, you know, he did have the city going. But yeah, yeah. But, Dolph, but, Dolph, but, but it, yeah, but at the same time, Dolph was already mo- he was moving too. So yeah, he would it would have took is, him a little longer, you know what I'm saying? But nah, he was moving. Which is yeah, and, 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 and like yo, like 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 whack probably would tell the, like if he was in here, like that's how the game go. But then behind that, like the video with the dude with the Gotti fade and the, and the fake CMG chain and all that other that take that as like. Son was throwing jabs first. Like you. So 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 he. If you say he threw, if you say he threw jabs first, would you respect his jab because of how uh, God had put him to the side and try to have a real conversation with him, but at the same time down to his other guys. I'm gonna play one of his jabs real quick. Hold on. Honey, so guess what? I'm gonna come say today. I'm gonna come pay you rent if y'all got some. If y'all got somewhere to stay. He talking about um, Dolph's people. I pay your car note. I pay your jewelry note, so you won't get repo. You feel me? Whatever else you rent the Mason, I'm gonna pay that. But when it break back over, I want ten percent of what you make. I'm, I'm, I'm saving you in the, in the, in a, in a, in a crucial time. So don't think I'm trying to get over on you, because you know you don't want to get put out. That'll ruin your career. That's that. That's that big Jew. He was making fun of, talking to the when Dolph got killed. He was talking to them, telling her to help him out. You feel me? When Dolph died, because I guess he was trying to portray that they was going to be broken. So he was t- sending them a message, telling him he was going to help out. I didn't even know he was putting his word in on I thought he was in the, just in the background, silent on the shit. See what I'm saying? Motherfucker be throwing their little subs out there. I was just going to say, yeah. bro, I don't think nobody's silent. You, y'all just going to be part. You got to follow the right. The uh, social media, I guess. That's a fact. That's a fact. I ain't even know. I was like, damn. But see, I I, I heard about uh, Dolph, well, about uh, Yo Gotti trying to sign, sign Dolph back in the day. But is their beef not like, I ain't going to say, I don't know, but aren't they like from two different sides of Memphis or something? Because I swear when I be hearing certain songs and shit, that's, they sound that's, like that's, they- um. Yeah, that's um, I right there. Remember how they used to say that's where um bag like bag was from that side too. But he just so happened to sign with um, Gotti, right? With Gotti, and that's what was the whole situation with um him and shit. Like Memphis got their own policies. That's why I say like as the casual fan though, right? You look at the like you don't have no nobody got no video, no nothing. Uh, God, Gotti ever talking crazy. About um 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 Dolph, just assuming. Sh- Dottie had an interview where he said he don't got no beef with nobody. I don't know if anybody can pull that up. Before he was with Lil Baby, he talked about that already too, two years or before Dolph died. But I ain't gonna lie, Gotti don't seem like the type to to put what type of beef he, was he a got out there. Yeah. 
they done a like uh, he never did that so like if he was to be beefing with Dolph I just don't think we would hear it from it on his end now Dolph that's a different story he's he's gonna throw his hundred shots and all that yeah, you feel me yeah. like that like, people, I will wait for somebody to bring that up, and that you remember yeah that was wild C-I-A-A. Before CIAA, when they was at, what was that shit at, in LA or some shit like that? Yeah. Um, the shit at the hotel, right? A, so, yeah, so, hey, but you talking about, you talking about. The whole time, the whole time, nobody want to say nothing, but the whole time, and I'm going to call it how it is, I know he had passed away, he gone, Dolphin Drives. Oh, shit. Yo, man, so that's the, the end of the audio. Um,. Yeah, it's pretty tragic, man. Uh, condolences goes out to Yo Gotti's family. Um, RIP to Big Jook. Um, it's pretty tragic when somebody loses their life over some petty beef, especially if it started over an artist not being not willing to sign with you. Um, his business never personal, so we got to learn how to manage our emotions a little bit better. And, um, you know, we got to do better as people. So... You know, that's how I'm going to end this video. Salute to, you know, the 100 side for uh, speaking on this content. Salute to WAC 100. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Do me a favor, hit that like button so we can climb up the YouTube algorithms. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.